Hello friends, welcome to Career Launcher. So the JE main exam is quite near now and I'm sure you would be very very excited. Most of you would have prepared for the exam and you are ready to ace the exam, right? What is the rank that you're expecting? What is the percentile basically that you're expecting? If you want to score somewhere around 180 to 200 marks out of 300, which would roughly translate to somewhere between 5,000 to 10,000 rank and percentile, you can accordingly calculate the percentile given that we have around 10 lakh students. So if you are trying to go for that rank or that percentile, what should you exactly do? What should you do to get 180 to 200 marks in the JE main exam? First and the foremost thing is you have to practice past year's questions. Why past year's questions? Because these questions help you understand the mindset of the exam paper setter. What type of questions they want? What type of question combinations they want? They would obviously be covering almost every chapter in each subject, right? And there would be limited concepts in each chapter. But when it, you combine the total, it becomes a vast amount. From that vast amount, they can only give 75 questions. So when you practice past year's questions for say 3-4 years, and in 2019 you had 16 papers. If you just go through all those questions, you understand what type of questions are important, what type of questions would be best to practice for the actual exam. Now we come to confidence. So confidence is the key anywhere, not just for JE main exam, for any other exam. If you want that higher score, you have to be confident, you have to believe in yourself and you have to practice accordingly. The second thing is keep practicing. Practice as much as you can. So keep, make a daily routine. How many hours are you studying? And in that, how many questions are you practicing? Trust me, whatever you learn is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to get inside, you have to practice. Whatever you have practiced, only that will remain in the exam with you. Only those questions you will be able to attempt in a fast and timely manner with and get it correct as well so if you don't want to make silly mistakes if you want to solve more questions in less time please keep practicing and keep a track in which chapter how many questions you have practiced till now the next point would be take full length mocks i'm sure you would be taking a test series somewhere if you aren't just join an online test series and practice full length mocks what does that do? That does two things. First and foremost, it helps you be familiar with the interface. You don't want that when you enter the exam, you face an unfamiliar interface. You waste time in thinking, where are the questions? How do I move to the next question? How do I mark for review any question? And all these, right? How do I change the response to a question? So practicing mocks does that. But most importantly, practicing mocks helps you understand in three hours how many questions you can attempt, how many questions you can attempt with full concentration basically. And what topics you are able to solve in the exam faster, what topics, what questions you are not able to solve faster in the exam. Because the exam is a test of accuracy as well as speed. So accuracy is critical because in JE you are not able to solve all the questions so accuracy is much more critical but even speed is quite important as well so just keep practicing mock test series finally we come to revision and I came to revision finally because it is highly highly critical just wanted to emphasize that point and to revise make small notes in each chapter what are the most important things how are the concepts connected to each other from what concepts questions come in the exam and in what concepts you are good at, in what concepts you are not good at. So once you make those lists and you revise your weaknesses, so the points where you are already strong, just make those stronger. The points where you are weak, now is the time to decide. I will either attempt these questions in the exam or I may just leave these questions in the exam. I would suggest cover up your weaknesses but if there is something which you haven't managed to study very well till now don't waste time on that particular topic or that particular chapter just focus on your strengths with that guys 
all the best for your exam hope to see you getting 200 score in jee main 2020 thank you